You got that. Well, I'll tell you, list. for example. Give me a whole list. I'll tell you, for example. <laughs> when Richard uses words like God, <laughs> or spiritual, <laughs> and occasionally you call upon the name of Christ, I go, wow, that's... The great way is not that's difficult. That's far out. The great way... <laughs> The great way is not difficult for those who have no preferences. When love and hate are both absent, everything becomes clear and undisguised. But make the slightest distinction, and heaven and earth are set infinitely apart. To have the form and the formless. No. But yet the words do have semantic meaning. And as I said, you, the fact that you are reacting to those is your problem. It's your attachment. I use God the way I use it. Why should that upset you? It's none of your business what words I use to talk about what model. They're just scenarios. It's like Walter Cronkite saying that's the way it is tonight. That's just the way Walter Cronkite thinks it is tonight. But I also think of the semantic meaning uh, to uh, other people. Yeah, what, about? what the word God would mean or the word Christ yeah. would mean. Uh, I think it means a mystery, a doorway to an unknown, yeah. uh, an unnameless Yahweh, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. The 99 names, none of which say what it is. And don't you want to keep everybody right at the edge of the form and the formless? Because that's where the ultimate act of creation is. For some people, God is a total drag, and for other people, it's a doorway. And I just send out as many doorways as I can, because all the doorways lead to the same place, as far as I'm concerned. Somebody's used every one of them. I, I think that it's uh, our duty as explorers and as um, frontier scouts for our species uh, to invent new terminology. We don't say, well, uh, I, uh, I went out in the spaceship and I climbed the mountain and I went over the hill and uh, I found this incredibly new terrain and I'm going to call it uh, God. You know, uh, let's call it, uh, you know, um, <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I really feel that words are tremendously important, and when I give college lectures to young people, I say, you've got to develop, we've got to develop a new terminology. We simply can't use the language that has been around for three or four thousand years because more people have been killed in the name of God than uh, any other word around. Um, and uh, uh, and uh, how many have been going about to be killed by science? <laughs> Well, I never use the word science uh, unless I use the adjective pagan science or humanist science. Or, um, uh, you know. uh, 